Hello, guys. <laughs> Here's again uh, Motenzen with the Cinema 40 R15 Speckel, and I have some uh, last thing more. Um, there is uh, some new functionality in the Skype thing part of uh, Cinema. And the sculpting module of cinema, I don't know. But uh, I, I never used this uh, sculpting tool since uh, the release of uh, R40. Um, so I haven't any experience or, or tighter experience with this yet. Yeah? So n not enough experience to speak about it. But um, there are two little, little features that uh, are fascinating, I, I... Yeah. And I'd like to show you. Sorry, it's, it's a bit late today. So, um, the, the first thing is, uh, you see this uh, little guy here. Yeah? It's... Uh, I downloaded it from, from Turbo Squid. It's a, a very, very high detailed uh, ZBrush model. Hey, what's in your nose? Okay, um, <laughs> and I modeled something really, really exciting too. This. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just like to show you uh, one uh, functionality of, of the sculpting. It's, um, it's a kind of uh, Re-topo technique. Uh, it's called mesh project projection. Sorry, and uh, all you have to do is selecting this and this. Go to sculpting and project mesh. Project mesh. Oh my gosh! I should drink <laughs> less wine. <laughs> more. So, and, and you see uh, my um, high detailed ZBrush uh, match is in the source now and the destination is my simple plane and uh, I can give them a subdivision level but I let it uh, on zero for now and just hit projection. Hey! <laughs> so, and uh, maybe we try with uh, subdivision level up one. Okay, yeah, much better. So, and, and you see, it's, it's, it's very interesting because you can, uh, in, in the case you have uh, some uh, 3D models that are very detailed and, and uh, very heavy to, to work with or something, you can uh, you can just do this kind of uh, footprint technique, yeah. <laughs> this retopology stuff, and uh, the result is a lower resolution mesh, and you can better work with this. So I, I'm not sure uh, how it's usable in, in, in the real world, but I think there will be something for what this is very useful. So, and, and beside this, um, I, I go to scouting, and one thing is nice, you can scout now on No, you can use the sculpting tools um, and very normal matches. Yeah, you, you didn't have to. Uh, I show you this plane. Maybe a bit more detail. So, blip. okay, it says to be a polygon object. But then you can choose, choose any. Uh, of this functionality from the sculpting thing, I choose this and use it on normal casual meshes here. Yeah. And this is great, it's very nice. 
Yeah? You don't have to uh, increase the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's my magnet now, you did it alone. You didn't have to increase the level of detail. You can just use uh, this tools, and, and uh, I think it is very useful for some cases. So, and this is the only thing I uh, like to show you about the scout thing. Um, two little features, that's very useful, and uh, there is much more in it. Uh, I just know uh, now it's very easier to, to uh, have uh, a, a Modeling some organic stuff, uh, till some very technical uh, with uh, cleaner edges and something. Uh, but I didn't know exactly how it works. So uh, uh, yeah, I was okay just knowing this for the moment. Uh, and you have to wait uh, till R15 is out to try uh, the sculpting tool by your own. And yes, this is all for today for me. It's very late, I have to go to sleep now. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. This was Mosai TV. My name is Mo Tenzin. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.